Hi, this is Hardik with e and I'm the Siemens product specialist in Southern California. Let me show you how easy it is to configure TIA Portal Cloud Connector and use remote session of TIA Portal and download a project connected to the local laptop using the TIA Cloud Connector. So here is my Windows 10 laptop and I just installed TIA Portal Cloud Connector on this laptop. I don't have any TIA portal installed on this machine, so there is no installation at all, zero installation of TIA portal version 13, 14, or any version at all. The only thing installed is TIA portal cloud connector. Let's go ahead and open up our TIA portal cloud connector. Uh, one thing is you have two different options for setting up the cloud connector, and you select these options when you install TIA cloud connector. So for our client PC, which is our laptop workstation, which is our Windows 10 computer, we want to select a user device, which is going to be our PGPC with connected device. What that means is here's my laptop and my PLC is connected to this laptop and through the cloud, I'm going to remote in into TIA portal and I'll show you how. So the second thing is just enable this cloud connector communications. So I'm going to click on enable. You will see it's in yellow icon. Here also it shows me yellow and here it shows me yellow. The third step for this setup is remote desktop. So I already have a server operating system and TI portal installed on the server. So I can just quickly go to my remote desktop, which is built in, point to my server and click on connect. So it will open up a server Windows 2012 operating system. So once I have this server, so here is my Windows and here is my remote desktop. So on my remote desktop, I can now open up TIA portal. So let me go ahead and here we can search for TIA portal. And I can open up TIA portal version 14 on this remote desktop. Okay. So once the TI portal is open, I'm still on my remote desktop. I can go to my online and diagnostics and click on accessible devices. So I have different options. I can go online through Profinet Ethernet. So I'm going to select Profinet Ethernet. And if I look at the list of my available options, all I see is just one network adapter, which is my Microsoft Hyper-V network adapter. So I'm going to close TIA portal for now. This was just to show you guys that without the TIA cloud connector, I can only see the remote PC, the server network adapters. So I'm going to click on TIA portal cloud connector on my server, which is the server 2012 where TIA portal is connected and installed. And once I open up, you will notice that over here it says remote device. This means where TIA portal is installed. On the second tab for protocol, there is a setting for TCP. And which is pretty cool here is it's just an automatic configuration. So I click on automatic configuration. It finds the client PC, which is my laptop, that's connected to this with the IP address with a blue dot. I simply click on it and I can say apply. And I can say check connection. So I see that, okay, everything is good. I go back to my general. If I click here again, it does say that the connection is good. If I want to double verify this IP address, I can go back to my Windows 10 PC, look at my network settings. So I'm going to go to my network and control sharing, look at my adapters. So here are all my adapters. So I have this Intel Ethernet L1219LM and I have a Microsoft wireless display adapter. And I'm connected to my docking station that's a ThinkPad dock. And if I go look at my IP address, there it is, 10.4.3.31. So this tells me that the IP address is correct. And you can notice I have all these different adapters for networks in my laptop. And what we're going to see now next is how it bridges all those network cards that are on my Windows 10 PC to my remote TIA portal on the server. And then I can download a project by using and remoting in TI portal on the server to this local machine. So if I go here, it's there. I'm going to enable communication. So it's going to turn yellow, just like the other one. 
And now here is the pretty cool thing is I'm going to open up the TI portal again. RTI portal is open now. So if I go back to my online and diagnostics and look at my accessible devices, you'll notice this turn green. It was yellow before. So I go look at here, see how it's green. That means once the TI portal is open, it will turn the color from yellow to green. And if I go look at my PNIE, bam, I see my Intel Ethernet L219LM, my docking station, my wireless AC8260 adapters. All the adapters that are on my actual machine are now linked to the server in the TI portal on the server you can now access all these network cards on my PC. So what that means is I can just remote in into TI portal, install on a server, access all my projects from the server and access all versions of TI portal. And if I need to download a project using my Windows 10 laptop to the hardware that is connected right next to my laptop at a remote site, I can just pick whatever Ethernet card it's connected to and then easily download a project. And if I go back here, it's going to show me also how much time was this network connected. So it shows me the timer where I made the connection and it's green and I'm connected since 1 minute and 20 seconds. So this is how easy it is to set up TIA Cloud Connector and use remote access and install TI Portal on a server PC and easily share TI Portal installations and you don't have to maintain all the licenses and multiple versions of TI Portal and all the updates.